Welcome back to another episode of Mark Fisher Outdoors, everybody. It is Wednesday, and we are in the pool for Underwater Wednesday. We Chris. are doing, Megan, an episode that I've been wanting to do since we started Underwater Wednesdays. Didn't I have been, that. this has been in the back of my brain for a long time. I have always wondered what the big deal is about all the different colors of frogs. Okay. Okay. You mean we, like they are just all green? They well, no, no. I'm talking about I'm talking not real frogs. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about baits, frog topwater frogs. Oh. Okay? okay. You can go into a bait shop and you can get white topwater frogs and green and lime green and orange and black and brown. And I'm telling you, there are guys that swear by the fact that a brown frog will work great in certain situations. Okay. And my question is, first of all. The top of a frog. It's green. It never gets seen by a fish. Oh, right. Okay. And so really all we're talking about is what's the bottom of a frog look like. A frog bait. And you'll okay. know this when we come back. You're trying to shut me up and uh -huh. get me going. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll be back right after this. Mark Fisher Outdoors. <laughs> I'm gonna put it over his nose too, and then he'll just can I talk now? Can I talk now? I'm Megan Fuller. I'm Mark Fisher, and we're back at Underwater Wednesday, and we're doing frogs. I'm super excited about this. Oh, before we talk about it though, yeah. thank you so much for the people that have subscribed. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this, that's just silly. <laughs> Please push the subscribe button and like our content. And also, if you have little comments like, yes, the black frogs are great, or no, the white frogs suck, or you guys are losing your minds, whatever, <laughs> just put it. Send those comments. comments. Yep, yep. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for reminding us about subscribing. Yep. We got to talk. Okay, we got to no. get in the, in the pool and look at this. Very guys, excited. I have had the question, like I said, for a long, long time. Why, why have different color frogs? My theory is that if a fish is... You know, in shallow water, looking at a frog coming up frog. And again, when I'm saying a frog, I'm talking about a, a hollow-bellied frog that you're, you know, frog fishing with. Right. Like I said, bait companies have all sorts of different colors. But what's the point? Because you're only seeing, the fish is only seeing the bottom of the frog. Okay. So it doesn't really matter what color, you know, the. I, I think it chalks up to... They make those colors because they want to catch fishermen, not fish, right? And Ooh, get like fishermen that. to buy a bunch of different colors. I don't know that it really matters. It, from a fish's perspective, all they see is the bottom of the frog. And okay, maybe you got a light colored frog. Maybe you got a dark colored frog. But we wanted to put it in the pool and see what, from a fish's perspective, do they really see white? Do they really see brown do they really see black do they see colors in general fish? well do they, they see we colors? know that they we, we know that there are certain colors they do and don't see they see shades of colors okay. okay so but when we put this in the pool we did two different things with each color and let me show you guys we started off with a white frog we just used these hollow-bellied scum frogs that you know, just, we weren't really interested in what kind of frogs or anything, just the color. So we started with a white. And then we went to a, I would call that what, like a lime green kind of yeah. color. Mm -hmm. And then we went to a brown, a brown or, or, you know, or almost muck, like muck. What, what I would call a, a green pumpkin kind of frog. Oh, you do like that color. Yeah. And then we went to a black. So we used four different frogs, four different shades. All right. And you can tell as we're looking at this footage that we did, we tried to get two different perspectives, mm -hmm. two different fish perspectives. Mm -hmm. One is if the bait is just coming across and the other is if there is a light kind of background. We used the sliding doors where the sun was coming in 
to kind of be a, a lighter background. Right. And so now it was just the frog coming in across that lighter background. My perception from the video footage that we're seeing mm -hmm. is that, yeah, there were certain situations that, the, like the white looked white. Right. And, and, but when you got past the white, I, the, the lime green looked a little, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, but the brown and the black pretty much looked the same, that, yeah. especially when you're looking at being silhouetted by the bright sunlight. When, when those baits were silhouetted by the bright sunlight, I would say that the lime green, the brown and the black all looked very, very similar. It was basically just a silhouette as opposed to a color. Right. I, it's not even that bright outside. No, today. no. So no. it was just any type of sunlight at all. Any type of a brighter of a background mm -hmm. made the bottom of the frog right. just appear to be a silhouette. So if I were using this information, I would say if I'm wanting a silhouette, I would want a black frog because I would want that silhouette to be right, as prominent, as, prominent possible. as possible. I got a white background and a black silhouette that fish can hone mm -hmm. in on it, right? Right. And I think, quite honestly, sunny conditions is a time when you would typically be fishing for frogs. It's summertime, the sun's shining, the frogs are underneath the lily pads and things like that, and a silhouette comes across. I would think that a darker color is the way to go. That silhouette is there and that's what they're looking for. And and again, this tells me that I'd be more interested in the type of frog I used, meaning does it give motion? Does it have tails on it? Does it uh, spit water? Things like that. Did you fill it with rattles? Yeah, it's like exactly, exactly. I you remember know, that from so last you year. You remember that, that, that episode that we did. So those are the types of things that I think are probably more important than the color of the frog. Uh, okay. I, I can see where if it's a, you know, if you happen to be throwing a frog in, you know, an area that maybe the sun isn't quite so bright and you want to throw a color that's a little bit tamer, you could do that, um, but I don't know that you need a hundred frog colors for throwing a frog. Uh, this is, uh, I'm not gonna tell you that I'm throwing away all my other colors and just keeping black, but this is something that I wanted to get into the pool and and kind of see, and we're, I'm real interested to hear what you guys have in terms of comments, uh, you know, after you see this footage as well. Frogs aren't usually white, so I would, if I had to pick, if you're saying you're gonna throw things away and only keep like one or two colors, I would probably go with one light, like the yellow one, and then one like brown, dark brown and... Well, here's here's the thing to think about that. A white frog like, like this one here, if you're throwing that white frog, my guess is that's not imitating a frog. My guess is if you're throwing this white frog, that is imitating a shad or something like that that is dying and skipping along the surface. And so if a if a there you go. if a fish is eating this, he's not eating this thinking there's a white albino frog skipping across the top. He's thinking, hey, there's a shad that's dying and it's skipping across the top of the lily pad. So right. I can Poor see shad. Yeah, I can see where that okay. might come into play. And in that situation, probably better to have a white one than a black one. I'm just, I guess what I'm talking about is- the You're gonna find a way to justify yeah, I am gonna find, gonna find a, a justi way to justify You know why? Because colors. I probably spent $500 on all these different color frogs. So God, that's the big question. That's what we're doing here, guys. 
can we justify why we spent all that money or did the bait companies get us and we just thought that frog looked sexy and we wanted to buy it because man again, that with, one looks good with the sexy <laughs> baits and sex okay guys we appreciate you tuning in we hope you enjoyed this episode and stick around tomorrow for another episode of mark fisher outdoors take care everybody stay channeled <laughs>